Let's go see if we can't find Earthor. Crud. And I don't have any restore life, do I? I don't think he'll follow me outdoors, he might. Be good if they did because uh, gosh, I need to go sleep again. something I didn't do in the stream yesterday. I never got around to doing it. Something I seriously need to do. I need to go back to Breville to pick up the, uh, to pick up the to pick up the all right there we go I needed to pick up the camping equipment so I could start taking a uh, a bedroll with me on the road so I don't have to keep going back into town just to uh, rest up and get uh, rest up just to rest up and level up. Thirty feet, twenty feet. Cure Paralysis. Okay.
let's do that. Paralyze and paralyze. Damage health, damage health. Is there any more? Oh wait, here we go. Okay. Damage fatigue, damage magic. That's right, a novice refiner. Gosh, I need to upgrade my refinery. Uh, doesn't really matter where. It probably doesn't really matter where you. Now, what does this thing do? I guess it just probably tells you how many you can make. Okay. Huh. Restore fatigue, damage magic. Okay, I guess we'll remove that one. Damage. 
damage endurance. Let's see, chameleon, water breathing. Painted troll meat to resist magic. Restore health. Only one. Oh, this is restore strength. Okay. I thought it said restore health. Restore magic. Two sixty seven. Okay. Well, that's not too bad. So we need to go immediately to our left here. Definitely something up ahead. 
probably another zombie. I thought that might have been... Oh wait, there's somebody there. I think that's the, uh, the gist, that's basically the function of this, uh, particular quest, which is to, uh, kill off all of the zombies. Thor can escape hassle free. And then uh, make your way back to Skingrad and get your recommendation. And uh, everybody lives happily ever after. Is he going to make his way out here? <laughs> it's really rather interesting that a dead creature would have a, uh, life detection I 
It's just very odd that a dead creature would have life detection attached to it. Or the capability for life detection. But that's the magic of fantasy. You can do whatever you want. And it never has to make any sense. Let's see, we could go to my immediate, uh, Oh, so there was something over here that we missed. Okay. Yeah, I still haven't figured out what my, uh... I still haven't yet figured out what my, uh... What my quick, my hotkey, uh... I still haven't figured out how to open that up yet. Well, for Pete's sake. getting hit. Crud. I don't know which way to go here. Okay. Oh, egad. I need some of this. Got out just in the nick of time. Let's see, did I get damaged with any... No, I didn't. Wow. Everything is as it should be. For the time being, anyway.
Okay. Let's see. I think what I want to do is head back to Sky, uh, Skyrim. Head back to Skingrad, sell some stuff off. And, uh, take an hour's nap. And get, uh, get leveled. Then we'll come back and rescue Eartha. I think basically what he did was... Basically what he did was he, uh... Was trying to create some sort of a... New type of creature or creation. And of course it got out of hand and now he's got himself trapped. He's got himself trapped by all the zombies that he created. And then I crash. I think it's because of the depth of field thing. I better just turn it back off again. It seems like that's what's at least causing the current frequency and crashing so far. back up, get my little spinning cursor, depth of field, I'll go ahead and shut that off, and then save it, okay. if you don't get the brains out of the zombies they can actually come back to uh, come back to life in a matter of speaking they can reanimate so just something to keep in mind when you're battling zombies you gotta get the uh, you gotta dig the brains out you gotta disconnect them Which is why it's always good to have a pair of uh, gloves for that kind of work. What is it, citizen? What is it? Just look up it. Just look up it in the dictionary, and you will know what it is. Oh, good grief! What have we here? Oh man! What? Are you seriously kidding me? So this is another mod where you can get these brewery houses 
scattered throughout the land of Cyrodiil. Unfortunately, it will mess up your, uh, land mesh. No big deal, I guess, except uh, a good portion of your stable. Greetings to you. Yeah, look at what this mod did to the land texture for skin grad guard. Are you gonna stand for this? I mean, I guess there's really not much else you could do. Even the ram ran over here when he heard about How it. How are you? You know what I mean, ram? It's, uh, or sheep, whatever. Look at what this mod did to my game. It's horrid. Greetings, Dunmer. Alright, let's, uh... Get rested up, get leveled up, get a few items sold off, and, uh... Then we should be good to go back to the, uh, cave. Gosh, who's casting the healing over here? Go ahead, please. Do you know about Glarther? You have something you want to tell me about that nutcase? Not really. Suit yourself. I thought you had something to say about him. That Dennis Artillion is a little too full of himself. Sure, he's a captain of the guard, but I'm not impressed. Yeah, it works out that way. Take care. Let's see, where are we going here? Actually, we need to go this way. What? Amal's at the Fighters Guild has gotten to be an expert on goblin hunting. He just hates the things. Yeah, I think most people do. You too. What can I do for you? See. Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. Well, I certainly could use a better refiner. Like a apprentice refiner. I mean, exactly what of those do I need? I need an apprentice mortar. And an, uh, an apprentice refiner. So we'll do that. Gosh, I really don't get to use my poisons all that much. Hey, Murphy, welcome to the stream. She looks way better with the mods. Yeah, most of these characters do. Um, the Oblivion Character Overhaul Version 2 uh, really does quite a fantastic job for that kind of a thing. You got a great deal there. Restore magic. Uh, we'll do that. Let's 
see, detect life. So what have you been up to, Murphy? What uh, what kind of games are you uh, working with so far? Uh, bear lung. Gosh, that weighs five. Yeah, I don't... Ooh. Adamantium filings. Interesting. Reflect spell. Hmm. Very costly, but they don't weigh all that much. You know what? I think I'll grab one of these. That's a good deal. I certainly hope so. Um, what else is there here? You've been playing Red Dead and Skyrim modded. Okay. Do you uh, generally play Old Rim or do you play Special Edition more frequently? Black Anther Flower. Drain Agility, Drain Endurance. Um, I guess I'll take three of these. Drain Agility, Drain Endurance. Buck Liver? Uh, I hadn't heard of that one before. Hmm. Clan for heart. Cooked rat meat. Pork bulb root. Ah, uh, this will help me cure paralysis. You know what? I'll take three of these, I think. You're more of an old rim fan? Okay. Yeah, I guess if you, uh, if you mod it properly and all of that kind of thing. It can still be a fairly stable, stable game, even though it's old rim. So Daedra's skin also does paralyze. All right. Essence of Armor. Wow. An Water breathing. Deal. I guess I'll take one of those. Boy, it's really interesting how very little that's a good deal in fact i haven't even yet been poisoned in the game but i keep getting diseased in the game spell absorption that's interesting laura more spine uh, I may have some invisibility potions, I'm not sure, but I guess I will take uh, three of those. Q 
cure paralysis. That can always be helpful. I let that go too cheaply. Damage luck, damage health, ogre skin. Water breathing, we'll take those. Scrib cabbage, scrib jelly, interesting. Let's see. Stone flower petals. I don't think I've heard of those before. Drain magic. Water breathing. We'll take uh, two of those. Wolf liver. Wolf lung. Ah, uh, we'll let that one go. Invisibility. We'll take that one. You're a fine negotiator. Okay. Well. Thank you for your patronage. That was a ton of, uh... Farewell. That was a ton of products. Now I just need to get to the Mage's Guild and uh, get rested up. And head back to the cave. Greetings, Evolker. Do a save here as well. How many mods do you... Uh, I get sick in Skyrim all the time. I'll go to a shrine to get rid of it. And as I walk outside, I get sick again. To the chapel yesterday, but Valandris was the only one there. You probably have... I, figured... I think I'd rather take my chances with a You disease. probably have a disease from some enemy. I know whenever, like, I start losing health or if I can't regrow, if I can't regenerate my magic, I just go to active effects and it usually shows some sort of a disease in the list that's causing me to lose health or magic mana. And so usually when I get rid of the disease, then, uh... Please, then have that man try to heal me. Good day. Good day. Then everything, uh, then those two things are back to normal. Although, if you're getting healed at a shrine, that should... I mean, actually, that should resolve it permanently. At least until you get, uh... Until you get hit by a, uh, enemy again. So, that's actually... A bit odd that that's happening. Okay, we want to build these up. And... Um, let me build up my strength. Any fun at all. There's all right, just let no me joy in her life. It's take a chair here work. and work on. Uh... Oh, I forgot to sell the refiner. Okay. Whatever.
adamantium filings. Reflect spell. I may have... I may have one other item that does reflect spell. Or at least I thought that I did. I guess I don't. Okay. Damage health, invisibility, damage magic, damage health. All right, we'll go with this one. And this one. And I think that's it. Well, my game is glitched. There is a skeever that spawns outside of Whiterun. Okay, but it does it, uh... It doesn't really cause your game to crash to desktop or anything like that, does it? Or it doesn't make your game uh, frame rate slow down or anything? There should be some other invisibility. Spell absorption. It does cause your game to crash sometimes. Do you have any, are you running any mods that alter or change as white run? Uh, on the outterior, on the exterior of it at all. You may have to, uh, you may have to, uh, check and see if something like that is occurring. Damage, Agility, Detect Life. Damage agility for Oh, this is a cure disease. Uh -huh.
water breathing. I guess let's try this one. I know I've got more than one uh, water breathing item. Yeah, I have a better gate mod, a giant mod, the giants protect white run, and a better drawbridge. Yeah, it's probably one of those three that might be causing the glitched skeever. So I guess if you know if you're wanting to do it, the thing to do would just be. Uh, Uninstall each mod one at a time, play the game, and uh, see what kind of result you get. And if you uninstall all of them and still have the problem, then that's not good at all. It certainly means something else is going on. Oh, Cure Paralysis. I better hang on to that one. Hmm. Alright. You think it might be the uh, giant mod? Okay. Yeah, then, uh, that may be a mod you may want to or have to. I mean, unless it really isn't that big of a problem, of course. Um, you just gotta kind of figure out what you want to do with that, I guess. Uh, cure paralysis. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's see, what's my carry weight? 275, that's pretty good, I guess. What's the news from the other? We'll do a save. The parts of Tamriel. Hello. They say that slavery has been abolished in Morrowind. House. All right, let's go ahead and head back to the uh, to the cave where Earthor is basically held captive by the uh, zombies he uh, created. Which actually, he wasn't really trying to create the zombies, I don't think. He just was uh, trying to do something and it got out of hand and now he's... So now he's in a situation where he's held captive by the zombies that he did inadvertently create. Which sucks, because it's a cool mod. What exactly does the uh, giant mod do in the game? And uh, do you have the uh, link for the giant mod? I'd like to kind of check it out, at least read up on it. Or I think you said... They protect White Run, so they they're kind of like guardians for the city. Then, Let's see where am I going? Okay, 
Yep, we're going in the right direction. Should be getting close. So here's one of the uh, Athurius stone. I think this outcropping of rock... Is this it? Maybe this is it? areas in the dark. They're basically guardians. I don't know if it's on the nexus I made it. Oh, okay. So you, uh, personally crafted and designed it then. Oh, okay. Have you ever made mods for Oblivion? I've been thinking about doing some uh, audio mods for the Oblivion game, but I'm not at all familiar with the uh, creation, the, uh, con or I should say the construction set, and I really haven't been able to find any uh, tutorials on YouTube with regard to how to make audio Oh here it is with regard to how to make audio uh, mods for Oblivion using the uh, construction set And so I was kind of curious if anybody in chat knew of any tutorials online that I could access that would uh, crud oh crud he must have uh, he must have I must have ran right past him and then he just, uh, picked up on me. Really? I'm out of magic. There we go. Oh, 